So absolutely gorgeous property that I bring you today here in Alentejo. You know, if you follow us in this channel, we absolutely love Alentejo. We believe it's an underappreciated area and it's an area that has beautiful climate. As you can see, a lot of sun and beautiful weather. Plus, it's so close to Lisbon. You have great access to get yourself into Lisbon in really no time, an hour and a half. So let's start. So let's start on the very beginning, on the entrance of this property. If you're into renovations and you know the details and the cost of materials, you're gonna appreciate this property because you're gonna see that the owners put a lot of love and care into all the details of this property to make a house that is self-sustained. So it has solar panels on the very top. It's also collecting water from a rain in huge deposits that you can use it to water your garden. So it has a lot of features that you see that the owners really took into care to make it self-sustained and a beautiful house for a family. So let's start taking a look. So the first thing you will notice is that they have actually two entrance uh, gates. This is the main house. It's automatic. And if you're into the prices of these things, this is very expensive. So this is a massive perk to have automatic gates in your house. But let me show you a little bit of the area. So this is the main property. It's a beautiful single family house. It has a massive kitchen. It has a massive living room where you can host family dinners, guests. It's just in a beautiful property. It has on the very top, prime real estate top. All the bedrooms, the four bedrooms are up in there. They have bathrooms, they have massive closets. And when you wake up in the morning, this is what you see, a piece of heaven. <laughs> and you have this view of this gorgeous pool that was recently renovated. So state-of-the-art equipment there. You have that tiny house there where you can chill, take a sun bath, enjoy. You have so much area here. And then you have this house here, which is a guest house. It has already architecture plans of what it could be. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So you could make it an Airbnb, you could rent it. There's so much you could do here. This is the entrance. As you can see, beautiful. You can have a lounge space there. As we enter the house, on that side you have the kitchen, on this side you have the living room because... but. Let's start here by the kitchen. Uh, a really good detail of this house, as you can see, is they've built these, let's call them dividers, just to retain the heat and the cooling system in each division. So to be as efficient as possible. So this is the kitchen and dining area. And you can see it's absolutely massive. I'm just gonna go to a corner here so you can get a sense it's a beautiful design of the old Alentejo houses with the beautiful chimney. This is just the kitchen. It's just huge and it's beautiful. It's taking consideration the traditional uh, look and feel, but still with a modern touch. So you get the best of both worlds. You get a beautiful country house, but with all the amenities you need, you have an oven, you have a fridge, you have a lot of counter space. If you like to host, have dinners, family over, this is insane. The amount of space you have here is just absolutely gorgeous. And you have so much storage. This family really thought through on the storage piece. Look at this space here where you can put a lot of stuff here. You can make it a walking pantry. You can have your machines here, washer and dryer. Then here on the dining area, just beautiful. And a note, by the way, the owners are open to, if you wanna buy their furniture, their decor, you, they are open to that. And then you go into this room and you have a whole bunch of space here where you can store your wine, store. Uh, let's keep going and I'm leaving the kitchen and walking myself to the living room. Again, the owners had this awesome idea of, okay, this is such a big space. Let's get this system in place where you can actually shield and 
close the room and retain the heat or the cooling system. So the living room, again, it's a massive space. Let me go to a corner so you get the sense of how big this is. It's a huge living room, beautiful for entertaining. You have a salamander, that's what we call here, a wood stove, beautiful fireplace. Then you have a massive window that lets you see your beautiful garden and the outside. You have dining table here as well, a beautiful um, cabinet. And then you have this little nuke, let's call it, could be a, a little office or a little zone to, uh, to work when you're in the living room, but it's just huge, this living room. Let me show you again how big this space is. Absolutely gorgeous. But let's keep going. Let's see the rest of this house. So on the bottom floor, something that you have as well is a full bathroom here. So here you go. You have a full bathroom here with a bathtub and everything ready for your guests. Now let's make ourselves all, all the way up into the bedrooms. So let me show you this beautiful wooden staircase. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then they put that really nice tapestry up there. So it gives it a really cool look. So going up the stairs into the area that has all the bedrooms. As you get in, massive amount of storage. That's a huge plus built in. So you don't need to buy any storage. I mean, just have it all here. This is also a main entrance to the house if you want to enter to the first floor. But let me show you the first bedroom. So this is the first bedroom. Beautiful light, as you can see. Built-in wardrobes, which is fantastic. A full bathroom with natural light which is awesome. And then imagine yourself, you wake up in the morning, you open your window, and this is what you heard here. The birdie singing for you. And this is just the beautiful view you have with the swimming pool, the garden. So this is bedroom number one. Let's make ourselves to bedroom number two. And this one is huge as well. Again, built-in wardrobes, huge plus, something you don't need to buy, it's already in there. A massive bathroom as well, complete. So really, really functional. This house is absolutely move-in ready. You have everything ready, and if you're interested, it's a possibility to get the furniture as well, and the decor items, and then you have this massive walking closet, all built in. Absolutely huge amount of storage. Bedroom number two, massive, massive amount of storage, full bathroom. So the owners really thought about all the details to give maximum comfort and maximum storage. This is bedroom number three. Here we go, couple's bed. Again, built in wardrobes, a full bathroom as well. So everyone has their own independent bathroom. Let's keep going to see the very last uh, bedroom. This is bedroom number four. Uh, also a gorgeous one. A king's bed, uh, a large bed. Uh, it's actually a beautiful tapestry to wake up every morning to. Again, a full bathroom again here. Only for you inside the room with natural light. It's absolutely beautiful. You have storage, Ooh, it's always a plus, a uh, towel heater, 
and airco unit in the master bedroom as well always a plus so this is lg so great brand and again a massive amount of storage this is something we neglect in the houses but it's so important oh, here you go i'm closing the automatic gate and i'm gonna take a little stroll on this beautiful garden so let's go as you start in you see you have here lemon tree and here you go as we walk in you see this tiny house which actually i'm gonna be honest is not that tiny it's pretty large look at the size of this thing and a really big plus imagine that you want to rent it out is they have their own access from the road as well and again an automatic gate i cannot emphasize enough how expensive these things are if you buy them right now it's quite a bit of money so having it in this house is a massive plus but let's go let me show you the view look at this beautiful gorgeous house up there that's where we were a minute ago and now let's just walk away through this beautiful garden wake up in the morning and you have some ooh, beautiful lavender waking you up when you get to the tiny house you have here a hammock so you can chill enjoy life and then you come here and you have this beautiful pool where you can chill and relax absolutely gorgeous if I wouldn't be filming this video, I would probably be in my bathing suit swimming in this pool because it's absolutely lovely. Uh, on the details, for the folks that love details, so here's all the machinery from the pool. And I was told this was recently renovated. So top gear there as well. If you go and look up there, you have solar panels already installed, giving you energy. So awesome, awesome, awesome. But let's look at this tiny property here, this tiny little house. So this tiny house, uh, from what I told, is not, uh, it, it needs some renovation. The owners already had an architectural project made. Little space, so you can see this is probably what used to be a tiny little kitchen. Uh, here you have the beautiful view of the patio. This a tiny little bathroom, full bathroom, by the way. But again, you're renovating a house that already has the plumbing, uh, already has everything in place and you don't need to ask licenses because you're not gonna be changing nothing drastically on it. So you could easily convert this into a tiny house, one bedroom, guest house. Oh, here you go. This could be the bedroom with beautiful natural light. So you have really good bones here. And again, you have a project already made with an architect. You can ask that from the owners. And then you have this beautiful traditional uh, Portuguese uh, chimney. So you could have a tiny kitchen here, a bedroom in there, storage area, chill out here. So it's pretty decent amount of space where you can do a little beautiful guest house and who knows, get an extra income on this property because extra income, it's always awesome. So if you watch the video all to the very end, you're probably gonna ask me, Joanna, come on, give me the price for this property. Tell me how much does this cost? Before I give you the price, let me give you some facts that you need to factor in to understand the price. So let's start with the first fact. This is 1,500 square meters plot with 350 built-in property. The big house and the annex. Just to give you an idea, right now in Portugal, if you would go and ask a builder, build me a house like this one with all these features, with automatic gates, with solar panels, with four bedrooms and every single one of them with a bathroom, with built-in closets, with a massive kitchen equipped with state-of-the-art appliances, a massive living room. You know how much this will be in the very minimal? Half a million. 
Yes, you heard me right. Construction in Portugal is really high because materials and labor have increased considerably. So you wouldn't be able to do this beautiful property for less than half a million. And it is what it is. It's what's happening right now all over Portugal. So how much is the asking price for this house? It's 330,000 euros. And you pay that and you get a house that is move in ready. You can move the next day you purchase this house. You have a swimming pool with state of the art uh, equipment there, recently renovated. You have a house that was recently painted. You have a house with air conditioning, with a stove, uh, with a salamander, with four bedrooms, a massive kitchen and everything, with really good insulation. A house that was built taking consideration a family that's going to live here because it has a sheer amount of space and storage. The folks that built this house knew this is a family house and is a family house to host, have friends, have family. And they also knew that you could have also some uh, profit there. If you rent that on an Airbnb or something like that, you have their own interests and you have a swimming pool. Have I mentioned swimming pool already so many times? And you get all of this at two, one and a half hours from Lisbon with all the amenities, with everything. You can negotiate with the owners if you want to buy with everything inside. You don't, you don't want to spend time building IKEA furniture. So you just ask them, can I buy the house with everything that's in there? And there you go. You're ready to move in. Let us know what you thought about this property. I know that some people will be like, oh, but central Portugal, there's so many cheap properties there. Yes, there is. But again, they're ruins. You need to put so much money into them to get them into this shape. Plus, you're in a microclimate. Who wants to have rain all the time? Who wants to be driving so much time to get to a major hub? That's the massive plus of Alentejo. And if you want quality, if you want good construction, things that are going to last, if you want things with solar panels, automatic gates, you name it, you have to pay for it. Because if you do it from the very zero, you're going to spend so much money building from scratch, plus all the licensing and the time you have to wait to get this house built. So here you go, beautiful property. And thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.